I'm just gonna be putting together a cute little face. I just feel like putting something on. My fucking brushes are dirty. Um, and this is very informal or whatever. Smashbox primer. It's about 1.30. I'm picking Nala up from the bus stop at 3.30. And I'll be freshening up her hair. Um, and then dressing her up. She has the most adorable little dress, little outfit. And um, I might let her wear a little bit of makeup. <laughs> I'm just going to start off with some light coverage with this water fresh tint. Man, I have not cleaned my brushes in a month of Sundays. Shame. Shame. I am going to bring this down. And this is just my house dress. That's why y'all pretty much always see me in this thing. I actually just finished watching um, yesterday Monique on Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay and you know I'm really glad that she had the time to talk about the things that she's been through almost uninterrupted because throughout the years I feel like people have really kind of given her a hard time and unjustly so now do I think this woman is infallible no of course not. Everyone has personality flaws and faults and all that other business. You know what I mean? But I do find it interesting how people are responding to Monique's truth versus Cat Williams. You know, some people. Obviously, some people are really happy that she, like myself, who are happy that she's able to have this platform to speak up for herself especially after being blackballed but I mean there are also other people who I think no matter what are going to um treat her a certain way because of you know who she exists as and by that I mean very much like myself a dark-skinned fat black woman let's not pretend that society doesn't treat you a certain way based on certain things how you look whether or not you're attractive you know being fat or not like all those things factor into how society as a whole is going to both treat you judge you um and I guess we could just leave it at judge you because that also means like believing you or not. You know, like as you can see right there, if this were just, I'm just trying to get out the door, I wanted to even out my skin a little bit, this is right where you stop. Come on, water fresh tint. But because I am, you know, looking for a little more coverage, we're gonna go in with this girl because I haven't worn her in a while. And it's pretty evident by the fact that the pump was a little stuck. <laughs> but anyway, so. You know, I'm watching this and I'm just looking at the feedback and, and you know, the recap and people's opinions about what she said. Um, and, you know, certain details that, you know, haven't really been revealed before. Because we all know why um, she doesn't mess with Oprah and Tyler. And if you've been paying attention... You also know that she and Lee Daniels made amends last year. And she also got her Netflix show. Special. Sorry. Did I think it was the best thing I ever seen in my life? No. I actually think she's done better stand-up. But, you know, it was still good. And she deserved whatever it is that she got paid for it. And probably deserved more. Because I do agree that, you know, um, you work in your career. And this is any career. Not just... Um, not just the in the Hollywood. You work in your career, you are, um, you know, kind of a veteran at what you do, and you are constantly told how good you are at your job, and you're such an asset, and we want to use you for XYZ. And then 
when it comes time to pay up and give you a raise and give you a bonus and make sure that you feel, you know, honored and, you know, all the stuff that you've been saying to me, blowing smoke up my ass when it's actually time to like pay up. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm a black woman who used to work in corporate America. I know exactly what she talking about. I have always, always enjoyed uh, Monique and I have always felt a kinship to her because I see myself through her. We're both funny, fat black women who are very cute. <laughs> and so um, I've been met with the, with very similar vitriol, right? Like I'm intelligent, I speak up for myself, I'm confident. And that is very threatening. It's very threatening to people who think you shouldn't feel that way because of how you look. And they should be able to treat you how they think they should treat you. So I have always identified with her. And most importantly, baby, I have always believed her. I have always believed everything she has said about what these people have done to her and what they have said to her behind the scenes versus what they do, in, you know, when it counts. I believe her. Um, I've experienced that a lot in my life, unfortunately. Um, but what I admire about her is her resolve and her determination and her strength, her resilience um, and unwavering a commitment to write and not being fake about anything like that has always been me as well when she talks about the way people say one thing in front of her and do something else nothing pisses me off faster than a liar like especially about me Ooh, don't lie on me. Because <laughs> I'm liable to bust clean out my character. In front of Woo, don't lie on me. But um, yeah. I just, I just really, I watched all two hours and 55 minutes of her um, interview on Club Shay Shay. And that woman is... I, I I just deeply admire her. That's what that's all I'm gonna say. I just deeply admire that woman, and and she deserves to have her flowers now. Don't wait until this woman is gone to be like she was right, and I'm so sorry. And blah blah blah. Man, fuck all that shit. Tell that woman now. I am so sorry for the way that I have treated you. You are absolutely right. I you know I should have done better. I should have said it sooner. Here's your check, <laughs> okay? That's all you gotta do. And she'll shut up and leave you alone. All she wants, like, you you fucked her life up for 10 years. 10 plus years. And the stuff you've done is actually, in my opinion, girl, <laughs> unforgivable. I wouldn't forgive you. Me. I would not forgive you. I'd still want my money. <laughs> okay. But I'm not forgiving you. It is fuck you for life. But I genuinely believe that she wants, like, she wants the apology. She won't, you know, if you never apologize to her, she's not going to, like, die about it. But at the same time, that would be very healing for her. And that's, you know, the part that she cares about the most. Because Monique going to keep making money. I mean, if we know anything, we know that, right? She's definitely going to keep making money. But the... I don't know, man. The heart and soul of of Monique tells me that it means so much more to her for her truth to be honored and validated by those who have wronged her. Uh, because people have been lying on her for so long. I don't, and I want to say this again, I don't think that Monique is infallible or, you know, just 100% nice all the time. No shade, but she's a Sagittarius. So I know she can get real nasty with her words, okay? <laughs> like, I, I know how y'all do. But I also know that 
the intention deep down is more so, you know, it's, it's the lashing out comes from hurt. And the minute you like say to them, hey, listen, you know what you write? You write, I messed up. I shouldn't have said that mess to you. I shouldn't have did you like that and betrayed you and all of that. And I'm very sorry. I'm sincerely sorry. How can I make it right? I think, you know, that's what is really wanted slash needed there. I think she did a really great job of balancing her storytelling and her, her genuine pain mixed with humor and a little bit of you know auntie pick <laughs> because that's what she is she's an auntie and she does have like a little bit of a pick me mentality but I mean listen if that's I kind of just accept that <laughs> within that generation I'm not expecting her to be completely, like, forward-thinking and shit. Like, that's just not realistic. I'm just going to take this one. Give me a sparkly business. Okay. That's quite nice. Am I going to be able to get it the way I want it is the question, honey. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. All right, and just deepen the girly up. A little tender. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually using um, the I Need a New Palette to make this eye look. But yeah, anyway, Club Shay Shay is turning out to be the place to sit down and let it all hang out in terms of truth and all that good stuff. So anyway. So the Grammys happened and it was a really cute night. I actually ended up watching the whole thing, y'all. I watched it with my mom and it was really cute. I thought that there were some very like touching historical moments like Tracy Chapman getting up there and that, why can't I think of her name right now that I want to say it? The um, 80 something year old woman who, man, she's like a music legend. Anyway, when she was singing, I was like, oh, this is so nice. Then I found out she did blackface once upon a time. And I was like, well, there, there goes that. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Am I surprised? Do I look surprised, <laughs> you guys? Fucking 80 something. Anyway, um, you know, good for her or whatever. I was <laughs> happy for her that she had a moment like that before she visits, you know, forever after. And yeah the show was good I did feel like SZA should have won album of the year because of the numbers okay like SOS she, she did her big one you know what I mean like she really did but it, it just went the way it went and um you know okay Taylor next time you next time you're in the presence of my auntie Celine you better speak okay period um that was so weird like even like at the moment when it was happening y'all I said um <laughs> and so did Celine if y'all look at her face she said oh okay shit <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god her face <laughs> oh my god Which face? Celine Dion when um Taylor just took the award out of her head <laughs> she didn't acknowledge her ass at all okay Celine Dion, Celine Dion got out of bed to come to the damn Grammys and present album of the year got out her sick bed mm. to present album of the year and here come Taylor Swift acting all fake shocked like she always do. And then she gets up there and she hugging everybody and acting all goofy and shit. And she just take the award out of Celine's hand and walk up to the mic. She didn't even look at her. If you just... 
she did not even look at her acting like a damn goofy high schooler with her old ass and she ain't old old but she too old to be acting the way she acting okay 30 fucking four and she act like she's still a damn 20 something like an early 20 something she cleaned it up she went backstage took a picture with her whatever but and i know i don't believe she deliberately was being rude but it was rude like do you, do you understand what i'm saying it was rude and I think her team or her people saw them, saw that look on Celine's face and was like, fix it! Hurry up! Because <laughs> if she saw that shit and everybody saw that shit, y'all go save it. I really think that's what happened. They was like, uh, Taylor, get get over here. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so she's, I guess, now the most awarded album of the year recipient ever literally ever all these music legends we have anyway <laughs> mm. there are a couple of albums that i do think that she deserved album of the year i'd not a i don't hate taylor swift I, I don't have any of her albums i have some singles but i don't have any of her albums um i'm a casual listener um and you really can't like escape not hearing a taylor swift song but at the same time, SZA's album stayed the longest at number one last year. SZA had the most top tens in Billboard last year as an as an single singular artist. So what exactly does it take to win album of the year? Like, what is the reason? You know what I'm saying? Unless it's just I'm voting for who I know. The woman is very accomplished. She has done her, 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 anyway, good for her. <laughs> and um, Victoria Monet, oh my God, I was so happy for her for winning um, Best New Artist, even though she's been in the game for like 15 years. Isn't that wild? Like now that she's actually a solo artist, she was, you know, submitted for Best New Artist. But she's been, she wrote all of fucking Ariana Grande's hits. Did you know that? <laughs> Shoot. All them jams, that seven rings, the, 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 the 34, 35 equals 69, all that. She wrote all that. And she's finally getting some recognition for her pen related to herself. And I think that that is fantastic. I'm very, very happy for her. And that beautiful baby of hers, little Hazel. Because you know, you can't do everything by itself. Also noticed that Beyonce and them, they did not walk the red carpet. They just came in and sat down. Mm -hmm. And they left as soon as Jay-Z got his award. <laughs> After he finished cussing everybody out. It was so... <laughs> ah! I love him. I have always loved Jay-Z. And he, this ain't new. He's always acted like this. He has always been a smart ass. He's always, you know, said some slick shit or slid it in there somehow. So it's not new. His behavior is not new. Um, but it was great to watch in front of everybody. <laughs> it really was. Too big. Too big. And they are in a position in their careers where they don't really need this. You know what I mean? Like they can fund their own shit. They do their own thing. They show up just, just simply for the, the politics of it all. But they don't need it. And thank goodness. Thank goodness. You know, they pay their dues. And now they can kind of do what they want to do. And I think that's really cool. I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to do like a custom pink. Pink. I'm going to go a little lighter. So I'm going to cover up the two darker ones. I know. It's like, what the hell are you even putting on, Victoria? Wait till I spray my face. Be patient. Gonna use good old Victoria Beckham. And my favorite bronzing brush. 50. 
I just sweep across both of them at this point. Especially since it is winter on my side of the world. <laughs> so I'm not using the, the dark one by itself. That doesn't make sense. And then I'm just going to use a dash of Worthy on my nose to contour. This is from um, LYS. I'm going to use Chanticleer's Orange Flower Water mainly because I like the mister on this. Where are you going? Can't find my damn fan right now. All right, so as I'm assessing things, I see the blush, right? But it's not enough blush. That's not enough for me. So I'm gonna put some on. Yes. Right there. This is Victoria Beckham's Roller Skate. I'm gonna rub that real good. Right there. And I'm gonna take the brush I used yesterday for blush, clean it off. And apply this one. Not too much on there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's what I wanted. Like doll cheeks. That's what I was going for. All right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, Vicky B. Coming through for you, girl. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the soft pink, but I wanted it to, you know, pop. So there we are. <laughs> so for highlighter, I figure we should just keep this pink theme going. So we're gonna run into old Faith Fowl. Anybody who's new here, hi, I like to butcher words on purpose. I think it's cute and funny. I know how to say faithful because <laughs> I know somebody's gonna say something girl okay thanks thanks so much <laughs> a little shiny shines there and then whatever's left because I don't like to do too much shiny on the chin so now it's just the finishing touches and then we'll worry about a lip because I still don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to put on my lips. I feel like I want to do a super bright, berry, juicy pop, like popsicle lip. But we'll see. This is from Pat McGrath. This is 1980, which is one of the lip pencils. I think I have to sharpen it a little. So I'm just going to put this in the center. And then I'm going to grab like a nice juicy pink gloss. I have this darker pink, which is L'Amour, or I have this lighter pink, which is Wicked. I'm going to try Wicked on first because I want this to stand out. Ooh. Okay. I think that was the right choice. Because I still have like 1980 is still standing out in the center. And that's what I want. I used L'Amour. It was going to be pink all over. And that's not what I want. I want it to look like 
I was sucking on a popsicle and uh, just happened to end up to like this. So I'm pretty much done with my face. I'm gonna do mascara and lashes and then put something in my hair so I can define my curls a little bit. And I'll be right back. Right. Lighter and lashes on. I feel very cute. <laughs> I think this is a perfect look. Cute little Valentine's look. All right, I have a couple of dress options. Give me one second, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna show you, show you what I'm thinking about. All right, y'all, the first option is this Ashley Stewart jumpsuit. So not really a dress option, but I just think it's so fun and cute. It's got pink in it, but it's not like overtly Valentine's-y. I think that would be a cute option. Or my Christopher John Rogers Target collab dress that's half pink, half hot pink with a matching belt. So um, I'm not gonna wait for you to decide <laughs> because that doesn't make sense. I'm picking her up in like an hour or like less than an hour. So I'm not gonna wait to decide. Just pause this video and cast your vote. And then in a second, you'll see what I end up choosing. Ta-da, I chose the jumpsuit. <laughs> It looks so cute on, let me show you. <clears throat> I think you guys have seen me in this once before, but here it is. And I use like a safety pin to close it up because it's very like low and it tends to open. So yeah, anyway, I have on a bunch of Pandora, honey. Cause your girl got a Ionic or ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. So I'm just rocking all my Pandora. Michael Kors hoops, a Zales necklace from hubby. And yeah, that's the look. I hope you enjoyed our little chit chat get ready with me. Let me know if you would like for me to do stuff like this more often, like kind of talking about current events or pop culture or whatever. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this look. Also, I asked you guys something else. I can't remember what it is, but comment in the comment section. Let's chit chat and all that as we do about luxury beauty on this channel. Love my lip combo today. Like this is just so fun and different for me. I mean, plenty of people have done this, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.